but this guy goes to a lot of things. I think he goes to WizardCon and so on. Uh, that one guy is from the Blue Planet. He does, uh, oh, the dealers, yeah. The guy, the guy up there with the blue shirt on is from the uh, Blue Planet. need to pop the um, the top off and have them sitting out the top or something like that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, there, there's, a, there's a guy or two that goes to uh, like Iowa City and uh, they do like really large pieces like, uh, like horses and like, uh, like motorcycles and stuff like that with skeletons and just all sorts of crazy stuff. But no, this is pretty cool. Oh, you even got a little one. You know what's weird is, like, I, when I was a kid, we used to make a lot of these things. Like, I used to see this at, like, uh, little touristy type places all the time. And then you got a little falling one here. Loose figures. Loose figures. He's doing the first walk for this. So. Which uh, toy show are you doing? Which toy shop are you doing? Okay. You come around here? Or? Okay. Yeah, I
good. When I first walked through here, I felt like these were canvas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. I know it's. Do you do you like castles? Off I do. Yeah. Things? So um, I stoked everything. Obviously, it's something that's kind of fun. Okay. These are actually made out of some food stuff. All right. But everything. Sculpting clay and casting resin. Gotcha. Looks cool. Thank you. I know uh, I, I went to like uh, C2E2 and there was a guy that would yeah. like, uh, he would like do stuff off of like figures, that he, the original figures, and then he would like do different things with it. Remember his name? Oh, God, no. I know the only the thing that I, the coolest thing that I saw that he did was uh, he did like a TIE fighter. And then he changed the, the, the center part of it, so it was like a baby face. Okay. Or a skull. A baby face or a skull. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah.
And then one of the kids just throws it in the trash and stares at him. <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Oh my god. I played him all the time when I was at my friend's house. He had an Odyssey. It was, uh, it does it? All right, just got back from QuadCon here in Cedar Rapids today. Uh, weather's kind of sucky out there, but uh, I did get there late. Got there about 2.30, had about a couple hours to look around, and I was able to get a few things picked up. I wish I had a little more time to take a look, but this is what we got to go with. So anyway, I picked up a Uncanny X-Men 151. Still trying to finish out my X-Men run that I have. Uh, again, still working on the Ghost Rider run. It's getting closer and closer to getting done. So it looks like I got issue 19. And we'll see about that Satan. Uh, got a Ghost Rider number 20 today. Cool one, nice shape. And then... Uh, Ghost Rider 30, so three more issues closer to finishing up, and here's a couple of the toys I got. I got a couple of Star Wars figures. I'm trying to uh, finish out um, kind of the 70s run that I have. I'm just picking up loose figures here, and Biker Scout and a um, um, uh, one of the Imperial, you know, flyers here and this one doesn't look like much but uh this was a um i i just picked this up for two dollars and <clears throat> what i found so interesting about this was that this was a uh like a transformer knockoff i'm not sure if this is a gobot actually uh but i actually had this as a kid and um uh, it was one of my favorite uh, Transformers. I can totally remember 
uh, taking this with me, you know, when we went to grandma's or stuff like that. Uh, it was small enough, you know, you can stick it in your pocket. And uh, I, I remember playing with this a lot. Uh, I got rid of it when I got rid of all of my Transformers. Uh, so I saw this for $2 and I just had to pick it up. So anyway, that's what I picked up for uh, for uh, figures today. Didn't uh, get a good look at many figures. And there's comics got. So anyway, talk to you later. Bye.